Elon Musk is having a really good week. 325,000 pre-orders have been received for Tesla's Model 3. We'll have more information about that later this week. Back in December, though, I told you that SpaceX, which is another Elon Musk company, successfully landed a rocket upright after a space launch. This was a total game changer. Then in January, Lewis told us on the bonus show that they failed to land that same type of rocket on a, a seagoing platform. But now the big news is that SpaceX has tried again and they've successfully landed their rocket on a floating ship for the first time. Let's take a look at the video and then we'll talk about why this is such a huge deal. First of all, getting the rockets back at all is huge, right? The, the rocket is 98% of the cost of a launch. So when you leave a rocket in space, you're losing 98% of the cost. Or when you let the rocket fall back to Earth, but in a, a non-intact way, 2% of the cost is fuel, 98% is the rocket. So you drop your costs 98%. Of course, then you do have to do some maintenance to the rocket, presumably, and get it, get it ready for launch again and the fuel used to land on the platform is an additive cost, but you're reducing your cost drastically, estimated 90%. Yeah, they've done the math, and the, the math works out. So this is, it's a big deal. It's a big effing deal, to quote Joe Biden. And then the next question is, well, why the water landings? Remember, 71% of the Earth's surface is water. Of the 29% that is land, not all of it is suitable for rocket landing. You're not going to land it on mountains. You're not going to land it in incredibly remote areas uh, where it would be hard. You're not going to go to Antarctica. Uh, that would be expensive. Then you got to get the rocket back. So when you consider that you can only land on some portion of that 29% of the land that makes up the surface of the planet, you have to use a lot of fuel to get the rocket exactly where it is that it can safely land on, uh, uh, on land. With water landings, you can just position the drone platform wherever is going to be most uh, direct for the rocket to come back down to Earth. Uh, uh, the, whatever region is going to be most, a most direct path, you expend far less fuel, you save even more money. So this is, this is a really, really big deal. Mm -hmm. the, this company is doing amazing things, and it's, um, it's, it is pretty shocking to me that, that this is coming from, from private corporations, from private businesses. Uh, instead of NASA, but uh, but that's what's happening. That they're doing other things, I guess. Right. Well, and as we've talked about with Neil deGrasse Tyson, NASA is significantly underfunded. And yeah. when we talk about private sector being better than than public sector at this type of research, there's nothing inherent about that. It's that often they're funded in a way that actually allows them to do a better job. And we've seen that time and again with with government and pseudo government agencies. So we'll continue following this. Truly amazing.